this is a three-year grant from the National Institutes of Health, and it's a collaborative grant with uh, my colleagues who I've been working with for about six years at MD Anderson Cancer Center. And the grant is focused on a group of viruses called polyomaviruses. These are viruses that we've been studying in my lab for over 10 years, and they're a fascinating group of viruses that have been in the human population for hundreds of thousands of years, but they don't cause any problems for us unless our immune system fails in some way. What's most difficult now in these complex transplant patients or chemotherapy patients who are susceptible to BK virus and JC virus is that we have sort of defied evolution, as it were, by altering their immune system to, to uh, transplant a kidney or to cure a cancer. And in doing so, the viruses like BK and JC can, can wake up and become opportunistic pathogens. And we don't really know how normal people control these viruses in the first place. That makes it very challenging to control them on, in an altered immune system. So the purpose of this grant is to develop an animal model of polyomavirus disease. There are things we'd like to know. Where does this virus live? Where does it wake up from? That we really can't study in humans. And we can study those in an animal model much more effectively. This is the beginning of, of many different facets of research for the long term. Because if the animal model is successful, then we can move to prevention strategies and treatment strategies in the next phase of, of the study. And then if we know that those are safe and those are effective in the animal model, then we can very quickly turn those around and test them in humans and do human studies to ask, can we avoid polyomavirus disease in those patients at highest risk?